What's up guys? How is everybody? I'm Savio and welcome back to my channel. Well, let's talk about getting the best deals on golf equipment and accessories for the budget golfer. Who doesn't love getting a discount? Right from equipment, to apparels, to even green fees. In this series, we'll cover all that one video at a time. Let's face it, the biggest hurdle for any new golfer is getting reliable golf equipment. And most of the branded equipment can cost upwards of 85,000 rupees. And this perceived entry barrier is what puts up most of the new golfers. Well, I've got some practical suggestions where golf really does not need to be this expensive. But before we get into the equipment, let's talk about a golf ball. Yes, the golf ball might be small, but its expenses can be quite big. So the more branded and expensive golf balls can cost around 350 rupees per ball. Golf balls are a recurring expense in golf and it is wise to keep the cost to the minimum. Especially in the initial stages of your golfing journey where you are more prone to losing the balls in water hazards or out of bound areas. So you have to ensure to have a regular supply of golf balls. And here are a few ways how you can do that. Number one, free golf balls. Well, this is a slightly cheeky one. Being a new golfer, you are prone to spend more time in the rough, in OB areas or in the thick fescue searching for your golf ball. And trust me, when you are in these areas searching for your golf ball, there is a high probability of finding some other golf balls. Well, pick those up, put them in your pocket. Just be sure it does not belong to one of your playing partners. The second option are the local caddies. This is quite prominent around the golf courses in the country. Well, when you hit the balls in water hazards or in any area where you are unable to access, most of the times it's the local guys over there that go ahead find these balls. It's like a side hustle for them and they end up selling these balls back to you at the entrance of the golf course or maybe around the course. The good thing is that they resell it for just 20 bucks. Well, definitely the ball quality is good because some of them probably have not even seen an entire round. So you can always try your luck and see what kind of good balls can you get there. There are chances of getting pretty expensive balls for just 20 bucks. The third option are the e-commerce sites and the pro shops. Well, if the previous two sources do not give you sufficient number of balls, then you can always head to the online e-commerce sites or the pro shops. Here they sell refurbished balls. They generally grade these balls as per the quality and you can get them at probably one third the price of the original. Once again, the quality is pretty decent and especially if you are a weekend golfer, they are worth it. However, I would like to highlight one thing. If you really want to improve your game, it's always good to go for new, good quality branded golf balls. At the end of the day, you want your golf ball to fly in the intended direction. The lost and found or the refurbished balls may be cheap, but they are not always aerodynamically sound. So once you reach a certain proficiency level, it's always good to go for new golf balls. The Inesis brand of golf balls, which are available at most of the decathlon stores worldwide, are pretty cheap and they are quite good. And they are perfect for the budget golfer. Well then, coming back to the golf equipment as in the golf clubs, I have a few tips and suggestions. I always advise to those who are getting into the game new, to never buy their own clubs until and unless they are committed to the game. And even after you are relatively sure that you will play the game regularly, I would urge you to go ahead and pick up the cheapest set available in branded golf clubs. So when I say branded golf clubs, I refer to the brands popping up on the screen right now. These brands are known for their quality and the technology involved in their design and manufacturing process. While there are many other cheaper brands available in the market, I could always vouch for the quality of these brands. As I mentioned at the start of this video, that a new set of branded golf clubs can cost upwards of 85,000 rupees. Then, how do you get it for the fraction of this cost? Well, here's how. Number one, pre-owned equipment. 
yes, this is the best way to keep the initial investment low and break that entry barrier into gold. And that's where the branded equipment comes in. Provided that the original owner has taken good care of this equipment, they are good to go for years. You can get pre-owned golf equipment at the following places. Firstly, your local coaches. Local coaches are a good place to start with when you're looking for your own set of clubs. There are two main reasons for this. Number one, they have seen you swing a golf club and they know which will be the best suited club for you. Number two, they are regularly in touch with many of the members who want to sell off their old clubs. So you can get a real good deal from them. Also, most of the times, the coaches are your safest bet in ascertaining the quality of the clubs. And the biggest advantage in this is that you get to try the clubs before buying it. The next place you can get pre-owned clubs are the online e-commerce sites. E-commerce sites like Golfoy and there are many more that provide access to pre-owned golf clubs. They are reasonably priced and can deliver the club set at your doorstep. However, my personal favorite when it comes to an online site for pre-owned golf clubs is golfgarage.in. It is owned by Asian medalist Rahul Bajaj, who is a very good golf coach and also a golf mentor. He focuses on providing good quality pre-owned golf clubs at very, very reasonable prices. He has a full disclosure policy when it comes to the quality. So if you are unable to find a good golf set locally, Golf Garage is the place to go. Then the third way of getting pre-owned golf clubs, which I would say is more like the freeway, is by borrowing golf clubs. This is the cheapest way to get into golf. I personally, when I started out golfing in 2018, I borrowed my boss's spare golf set. Most golfers do have a spare set and you can always request if you want to borrow. Also, when you start out golf, you really don't need the entire set of 14 clubs. A butter, a sand wedge, a pitching wedge, a 9 iron and a 7 iron, a hybrid and a driver or else even a 3 wood is good enough and you can play a good round of golf with these 7 clubs. Well, for those who really do not want to go for pre-owned clubs and still want to go ahead and buy new clubs, there is still a cheap way of getting them. The good thing about equipment manufacturers is that they come out with new models every year. This causes most of the online stores and even pro shops to give heavy discount on their unsold inventory. It's always good to track such flash deals where you may get the 85,000 rupees club set for even as low as 25,000 rupees. Just like your golf swing, timing is everything here in getting that sweet deal. So these were some quick tips on getting value for the buck you spent on your golf equipment. In subsequent videos, I will talk about how you can get great deals on golf apparels and golf accessories too. Well, if you found this video informative, please do give it a like and if you've not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It does help a long way. So until next time, here's Savio signing off. I'll see you soon in my next video. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.